Hey everyone, welcome back. In this lesson, we are going to see about the basics on PyQt. If you already know about the PyQt, then you can skip this section and straight away move to the next section on developing our project. If you are new to the PyQt, then this is for you. We are going to give you the introduction to the PyQt so that you can able to understand and develop the desktop application. PyQt is one of the popular and powerful framework that was written in Python to develop the desktop applications. Qt is a cross-platform application framework that was created for use with C++, available for both commercial and open source license. It is widely used by the open source projects such as KDE Plasma, Oracle VirtualBox, commercial software such as Adobe Photoshop, Elements, Autodesk Maya and even embedded software in products from the companies such as LG, Panasonic, etc. Qt is currently owned and maintained by the company called Qt Company. In this section, we are going to be working on the open source release of Qt 5. Qt is officially pronounced as Qt. However, many people say it is a Qt. That's the reason I also spell Qt. PyQt is a Python library that allows the Qt framework to be used in Python code. It was developed by Riverbank Computing under the GPL license. Although commercial license can be purchased for those wanting to develop the proprietary applications. PyQt currently supports on Windows, Linux, Unix, Android, Mac and iOS. There are essentially three main modules that was there in the PyQt. That is Qt Widgets, Qt GUI and Qt Core. Qt Widgets which defines the graphical user interface widgets, layouts and other high level GUI components etc. Whereas Qt GUI which contains GUI specific data wrapper classes and utilities. Qt Core contains the low level data wrapper classes utility functions and non-GUI core functionality. Those three modules will be used in nearly in any PyQt program we write. Now it's time to dig in and do some coding. I will see you on that. Until then, happy learning.